be Saturday. You know how it is. You know how it be. <laughs> Whatever. I don't. I don't know how to open these videos anyway. Anyway, this is episode two, Cozy Bud. But uh, I'm gonna go take a shower so I look a lot nicer than this. But I finally have today's product: Bones Coffee Jack the Lantern. It's their pumpkin spice flavor. Can't wait to try it. See you after the shower. <laughs> Andy, were you just watching Ginger Poop? You okay, Ging? Leave her alone, you pervert. What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you think you're doing? What's up? Whoa, I just looked up, but there's a fucking squirrel looking right at me. What's up, dude? You are a chonkus. Holy shit, dude. Hi! Hello! I'm gonna go out and try to say hi to the squirrel. It's real cold, I bet. Oh yeah, the door's frosty as fuck. <laughs> it is chilly! What's up, squirrelo? What's up, dude? Hi! Hello! Hi! Just saying hello. Oh, look at that tail. Look at that floofy tail. You're cute. You know that? You know that you're cute? Oh, okay. Alright. I'll see you later. <laughs> Later, dude. I literally took like no more than two steps and he started running away. Get out of, get in there, Andy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. All I did was tear off the thing that seals it, but uh, I have not opened it yet, like legitimately. So it's got a, it's another one of these bags where it's resealable. Like it's got the Ziploc kind of re resealable thing. And I'm not really a fan of that. I'd rather just bend it and then pinch it. Oh jeez, the cats right at my feet being rambunctious. Anyway. Whew. Definitely smells like pumpkin spice. That's pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice at the very least. Again, I just want to look at that packaging. Got the Bones Coffee logo there, Jack the Lantern. It's got a nice little, like, horseman with the jack-o'-lantern and the scythe. This is really good branding is what it is. I couldn't fit my spoon in the bag to put it in my coffee maker. <laughs> so I had to put it in a little Tupperware container. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in.
right. So as always, I'm going to try it black first before I put cream and sugar in it. Um, I gotta say, definitely smells like cinnamon, or pumpkin spice, or whatever you want to call it. We all know it's just cinnamon. But, uh, here it's piping hot, just poured it in, so, uh, little, little scared. You can see the steam coming up, that's kind of cool. Anyway. You know what, you know what, why don't I just get a spoonful? Let's get a spoonful. Okay. Maybe don't drink this one while uh, without cream and sugar. <laughs> That's not a great experience. Smash cut. So exactly what I did is that I put a little bit of plain cream in it, just about uh, maybe I think it's maybe about three quarters coffee, one quarter cream or creamer. I don't know why. I keep leaving off the ER at the end of that um, and I put three teaspoons of sugar in it so let's give it a shot that definitely tastes better than it did when it was black but also I'm just not really a fan of drinking coffee black really um, now this is the first flavored coffee where the flavor is infused into the coffee beans and the grounds themselves. Um, how Bones was able to do that was just great. It actually tastes really good. Um, the only issue I have is that the pumpkin spice flavor with this particular flavor isn't quite there enough. I was expecting to be blasted with a uh, pumpkin spice, but it's it's there. It definitely is there. It's a lot less subtle than fucking than whatever I had with Starbucks a couple of months ago. It's definitely way more prevalent, but not as prevalent as I think I would have liked it. Um, but. Still very glad that I made this purchase. I think this bag was only about $14 on Bones website. Um, there were some shipping delays because the United States Postal Service right now is a fucking nightmare. Uh, nothing against them. Um, but yeah, I this is definitely worth your money. And I feel like anybody that drinks coffee, especially people who love pumpkin spice, will absolutely enjoy this. So thank you guys so very much for watching another Cozy Bud episode. Um, if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And until next time, I'll see y'all later, to put it in the most Midwest way possible. <laughs> Bye guys.